So gaming altogether is incredibly uh, competitive, as you point out. But this thing about being able to play sort of high-intensity video games on a, on a internet, uh, internet connection, on a Wi-Fi connection, on a cellular connection, that's still no one's really cracked the code on that. I think that's the hard part. If they've been able to figure out with this, and I'm just looking at this now, it actually looks really good. If that works, I think that'll get people to come into it, Dan, um, especially kind of, younger folks, too. Sure. Dan, what kind of pricing do you think is, is key here? Yeah, I mean, look, I think pricing sort of in that per month single digit in terms of some of what we saw on the news side. But this is really about attracting consumers to this platform. I think this is when you look at Apple, where they could really potentially blow out the service positively is on the gaming side. And you saw Google last week. And if you look at the content perspective, this is something that could really have a ripple effect across the industry. Right now, I think a pin could drop if you were in an EA or Activision headquarters. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks. Uh, we'll see you in a